What do you mean? Okay, just, that's fine. I just wanted to close the door. <laughs> hey everybody, Oko here, and welcome to a brand new Commodore 64 game we're going to be playing. And my brother Paul is here. Hello. Yeah, so this is Daredevil Dennis. This was a game that, uh, well, I don't know. This was a kind of a hard one, wasn't it? Yeah, I was always quite good at it. And we used to name all the characters our own little nicknames. Yeah, we'll talk about some of those. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so you can start playing. Oh, here we go. So in this game, you basically just move. There's two parts to this jump. game, too. You start with this first stage. Let's see if I remember how to jump. I think you press up. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay, yeah, you got the balloons, and you have to jump over the flowers. I'm really good at this, usually, <laughs> but, you know, haven't played in 25 years, so... Yeah, Paul was always better at the Commodore 64 games than me, even though he was two years younger than me. Yeah, one of the main reasons Paul's here is I wanted to play a few games here because this is actually going to be most likely the last game that I'm going to be playing here at the, the family house because we've sold the house. And that's it, guys. We're moving all of the pretty much 90% of the games I've played here for the channel <coughs> since I started has been filmed here at the family house at my mom's place where I've been staying helping her. So. Oh, yeah. So what you have to do in this game is you have to get all those little things, those little rings that are dropped off by the parachutes. Oh. Yeah, you can't touch anything or that happens. <laughs> I was too close to the Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, so just collect the squares, avoid everything, and you can raise to higher levels by using those little springs. You can also use some invincibility, I think, by pressing down. Yeah, you know, but you only have a limited amount. And the more of these little squares that, we, that you get, the more it makes a little... A uh, picture of a character in the upper left corner. I'm not sure what that does. You get a full, you Is get a, a free man. man. Oh, oh boy. So what, what were some of the nicknames you remember, Paul? I remember one in particular. You remember Judy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One of them was named after our neighbor for no reason. It doesn't look like yeah, her. Yeah, and we'll, you'll see when we <laughs> see that. So Judy is a very nice um, Caucasian lady. Um great at baking, you know, just that nice lady next door. And uh, I don't know why we named. Yeah. And the placement of these uh, things, like these obstacles, changes too. When you replay this game, the stages are sort of random, randomly generated. And this one it seems a little impossible because I don't know how I'm supposed to get. You have to use your invincibility. I don't know how you're going to do that. How do I get invisibility? Press down. Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Forgot about See? that. See how good he is, you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Paul oh, just... there's a turtle. Paul Paul just was good at games. What was the T on the turtle system? I think T. I would think. T break? Yeah, I don't know what all these different things are supposed to be... Like, why is there a brick wall? Well, I guess a brick wall is something that a motorcyclist would want to avoid. So that makes sense. But a turtle? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, and this this <clears throat> game can get pretty difficult. And this is... Oh, so this is an... Oh, yeah, I go like this. Yeah. And sometimes they would even put the, the obstacle right where you spawn. Oh, yeah. Like that right can happen. Right that can die. happen, which is kind of unfair. Yeah. Very annoying. Oh. So I wonder what those little spitting squares are. I guess they're just not meant to be anything. Um, they I thought, look neat. I thought they were circular, actually. No. Oh. Okay, so I'll get these ones to the left of me there last, because I can uh, run into the wall then, and it's fine. So what were your other favorite Commodore? Ah! Si what were your other favorite Commodore 64 games? Why did I die there? I got them. I don't know. I guess I needed to go slower. Oh, then I get to restart the whole level over. Um, I really liked Henry's House, of course. Yeah, that was the number. That was the first game I did. Oh, here's a little secret. If you start the level, um, like right now, to the left of an item, I'm gonna wait till all of the little gold rings are delivered, and then I'm gonna go after them, just in case some appear on this side of the wall. Yeah, this can be a pretty hard game to kind of access because I've never really seen a lot of other versions of this game for other platforms. Just Commodore. Um, anyways, the other games I really liked were Henry's House, um, Lazy Jones, Jumpman Jr., 
Aztec Warriors, uh, some, the Olympic Games, summer and winter, especially winter games. Yeah. And Alcazar, of course. Mm-hmm. One of my faves. What about Montezuma's Revenge? Oh, I love Montezuma's yeah, Revenge. Yeah, we're going to be doing that one on the channel eventually. <laughs> there's another... Still haven't seen Judy. Yeah. Oh, there's the ambulance. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so there's not much more. There's not much to say about this. Oh. It just keeps going. Okay, I'm gonna stand right here just to make sure. I... Yeah, they just start throwing more and more obstacles at you. <clears throat> nice try, helicopter. <laughs> Ain't getting me. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. So, any other um, any other f memories you want to share about Commodore 64 games, Paul? Um. We're actually playing in the room that we first had our Commodore 64 as well. What? Wasn't oh, it down yeah, here? It was right. down here. Yeah, it was down here in the basement. It was the computer room. That's what we called it. Because where our dad had our ham radio set up and the Commodore, the, the computer. Oh, not the moon. Here comes the falling moon. <laughs> it makes a noise. That phone looks a little bit like Doraemon. I don't know what that is, but okay. Another free man. Oh. I think that was a free man. Yeah, if I tried to play this game, guys, it would be, like, over in about two minutes. It's not... Yeah, this is a tough game. How long... How many scenes, like, does this go for? Do you oh, know? there's that guy having a bath. And, uh, this <laughs> jumping man. Jumping over him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be so annoying if you are trying to have a bath and some guy was jumping over you the whole time. <laughs> So what kind of games do you play now, Paul? Um, I'm more of a Mario Kart, Mario Party, mm -hmm. Mario Galaxy, um, and Zelda. Lots of Mario. So you're a Nintendo boy. I'm a Nintendo boy. Yeah. I'm not into really any other games. Yeah. Mario and Zelda are staples for me, too. They still are. See, I'm doing better this time because now I remember. <laughs> there's nothing to remember. It well, there's actually a way that I jump. I always jump backwards and then forwards. The sound is not very good, huh? What? Uh, yeah, the sound is very good. Do you smell something? Oh, oh, smoke. It's probably Waylon. Our neighbor's smoking. <clears throat> the window's oh, open. Oh, there's the pond. <laughs> I need to get out of here now. This is not a good situation. Yeah, so I've already told a lot of the stories about that Paul and I, the little fun games Paul and I used to play when we played Connor 64 games. Oh, did you tell them the Aztec Warrior game we used to play? I uh, No, I was waiting until we're actually playing that game. We can play that one next if you want. I kind of wanted to play two games because um, I didn't do one last month. I've just been too busy with the move and everything. Well, on Aztec War Warrior, I used to, we used to do a make-believe game where I was a baby, dropped off at the door. Cut. Don't talk about that right now. Okay. Because maybe we'll play it later and then we'll talk about it then. We'll talk about it when we play that game. Yeah. Yeah, well, we haven't seen Judy. There's another chessboard piece. Yeah. See, this is tough. Now there's three things going on here. One stationary, one moving, and one that changes levels. And I don't have very much. Yikes. This is not good. Ooh! How does he do it, folks? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, not the moon again. Oh, darn it. Sometimes I put them in really hard places, but you know what? I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long you want to play. Until you die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this game drove me crazy. Ugh, it was hard. Oh. Close. Oh, five out of eight. I guess I have eight lives. Yeah, so we've sold the house. The house, we're, so we're moving in about three days. So it's just been a lot of packing and stuff going on around here. It's been kind of stressful, but <laughs> the show is not going to be ending. I'm still going to be, things are still going to be going on. Right now I'm playing through mostly Final Fantasy XI, but there's going to be a lot of other new, uh, games coming soon 
But yeah, no, just everything's gonna be done at my place downtown. I've talked a lot about that already. But um, yeah, just not here at my mom's place anymore. Yeah. Oh, so now we're on the experience from Nova, so. What? Every time you pass the cycle of everything, it goes up. It, Cause I'm now at Novus. Or no, I went Novus. to Novus. What are you at now? What's... I'm at like intermediate or something. Mm. Oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> See, it is experienced level. Uh oh, this ain't good. <laughs> I still don't understand why there's a turtle with tea on it. It's so random. Yeah, I don't know. Of course, lots of commoner games were very random, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Remember Sam's Jam? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. God, you're doing really good. Paul has not played this game in probably 30 years. It's like you never stop playing. Well, I need to see Judy. <laughs> Where's my Judy at? See, you can't even you can't even use that spring on the bottom right, can you? Nope. No siree. What if you're pressing down? Would you be able to? Well, know. yeah, you could, but you know. Oh. Yeah, Judy actually looked very similar to that red spider there, except it's green and she kind of jumps to the side. Oh. <clears throat> wow. How many scenes are there before it goes to the next level? Um, I don't know actually. Oh, look, it's a candelabra. Oh. Hey Paul, did I ever tell you about how did I ever tell you about how I did a presentation when I was um in an art appreciation class at college and um I talked for about 10 minutes about this uh, painting uh, that I was supposed to talk about from a Canadian painter and I was calling it a, a candle bra. And, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I called it candle bra. <laughs> and then um, about halfway through my presentation, one of the other students put her hand up and said, um, do you mean to say candelabra? <laughs> Isn't it candelabra? Well, what, however you say it. Candelabra. Not whatever you said. I said, I thought it was candle bra. Oh, dear. And I was like, ow. Lumiere would she be She shamed me. <laughs> Yep. Oh boy. Don't tell Lumiere. Or Liberace. Oh! Oops. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it past this lava. I have one more life, I think. Oh, two. I thought that was a level for some reason. That turtle shows up a lot, huh? Yeah, I want to see Judy. Where am I, Judy, at? Yeah, so the only way you can play this game is through emulation. Like I said, I don't think there's any way of really playing this on any kind of modern oh, virtual man. concert. Uh, virtual console. Uh, soul. This has never been... I've never seen this game ported to any other systems. So close to getting another life. A pyramid. Oh, not the moon. Anything but the moon. Yeah, it's falling quite fast, too. Yes! Had to secure that life. <laughs> you could just go from that way if you use invincibility. Whoops! You distracted me! Uh, sure. I was gonna jump over that thing. Oh. Hey, Judy! Good old Judy. Let's just like her. <laughs> on your last, too. on your last life too. No. Oh. Yeah, Judy was uh, lived, grew up in the North Pole. She was the neighbors with Santa Claus. Remember? I have no idea what that. She that's what she used to tell us. Oh, she did. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. She grew up way oh. in the interior of like Canada, I think. Oh, I and... didn't know that. Well, you did know it. You just obviously forgot it. She's, yep, yeah, she was Santa Claus's neighbor. God, you're good. Bye, Judy. Yep, they've been good neighbors. Oh. Uh, see, that's not fair. That's a creepy hand, too. Yeah, they've been good neighbors uh, for us for 45 oh. years. Yep, yeah, so there you go, guys. Daredevil Dennis.
Here, let's, go, let's let Paul put his name in here. <laughs> Even though I don't think it actually saves after the system. Oh, it better. I'll you set my <laughs> So yeah, we're, um, we might play one more game. I might want to post two Commodore 64 games uh, for this month. All right. So that's it. So, oh, I don't know. Okay. So thanks everybody for watching our video and uh, yeah, I'm Oko and and Paul. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> that's right. Yep. And uh, check out our next Commodore 64 video. All right. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye for now.